Joining me now from Jerusalem is Mark Regev. He's a spokesperson for the Israeli government. Mr. Regev, thanks so much for being here. Today, Iran's foreign minister accused the Israelis of trying to, quote, torpedo an agreement to spread tension and mistrust. Your reaction? Well, we're not against an agreement. We're uh, all for an agreement. We want to see the Iranian nuclear crisis resolved peacefully. We have an interest in that. We think everyone would like to see that. But what we want to see is a good agreement, not a bad agreement like the one we had with North Korea, which everyone celebrated at the time. And then just a year later, the North Koreans exploded their first nuclear device. We want to see a good agreement that actually effectively dismantles Iran's military nuclear program. As you know, uh, last week, uh, some members of the Senate got into a heated discussion with members of the Obama administration about what exact, exactly this uh, lifting of sanctions would mean. And uh, the White House basically said uh, that the numbers being floated and given uh, on Capitol Hill by the Israeli government are wrong. Your reaction to that? Look, you can have an honest difference on what the estimates are. But what our concern is, is that you've got this equation out there on the table which says the Iranians take small steps and then the international community in parallel takes small steps to sort of encourage them to move in the right direction. The trouble with that equation, it's based on a falsehood. The first falsehood is that the Iranians are taking steps in the right direction. They're not. All that we've seen, all the information that we have is that the Iranians are taking only cosmetic measures that in no way undermine their goal of having a nuclear weapon. They're not willing to take any serious step not to dismantle a single centrifuge. So that's the first problem. The second problem is that though the sanction relief is, is in the billions, and maybe for some people that's small, if you look at the strength of the Iranian economy, it's quite, quite large, it's quite significant. And as my boss, Prime Minister Netanyahu said, it's like a small hole in your tire that small hole will ultimately lead to a flat. And we're very concerned that once you have cracks in the sanctions, the sanctions will fall apart, and then there'll be no pressure left on the Iranians to encourage them to take even more necessary, significant steps to dismantle their program. I mean, the Iranians are building intercontinental ballistic missiles. They're not building them for us. They've already got missiles that can reach Israel. They're building them for you, for targets in North America, in Western Europe, it's crucial that we don't allow them to get nuclear weapons. If the deal goes forward, and of course it's the position of the Obama administration that this deal would prevent, uh, not allow, uh, nuclear weapons, but if the deal goes forward, will it damage U.S.-Israeli relations? We and the United States agree on the big picture. Uh, we agree with a common goal, and that is that Iran should not be allowed to have nuclear weapons. Now, between friends, we can have honest differences about how to achieve that goal. Israel is directly affected by this. This is for us a core issue in our national security. And of course, my Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, wouldn't be doing his job if he wasn't concerned about this. Well, he's concerned about it, but you're not willing to say this would damage U.S.-Israeli relations. So I think the average viewer at home might think, well, if it wouldn't even damage relations, then what's the big deal? Well, let me say the following. For us, it's a core issue. It's a crucial issue. I hope we come out of this with a good deal, a deal that does dismantle peacefully Iran's military nuclear program. I hope it's possible. And that's ultimately the very best outcome. Mark Regev, Israeli government spokesman, thank you so much.